Today we're going to be checking out one of history's favorite submachine guns. This is the Sten Mark II, aka the Tube. It's a neat little subgun, isn't it? I showed you my Sten. Please respond. So this is the Sten Mark II, or the Mofucking Tube, as it's colloquially known. This is a 9mm direct blowback submachine gun that fires from the open bolt, which means remove the magazine just to be nice and extra safe there. You can see through the gun, so that's kind of cool. Which means that the, the bolt hangs to the rear, and the trigger is just there to get out of the way of the bolt. The action of it slamming forward is what fires the round, and of course the blowback, the energy of that 9mm going off is what pushes this to the rear, where it's either caught, again, by the trigger, or fires until you run out of ammo. So why do we give a fuck about the Sten? The Sten is kind of the iconic British submachine gun of World War II. It was designed in 1940 and was used from 1941 uh, through the end of the war. So the Sten did the one thing it was actually designed to do keep the British alive until the Americans showed up. But why did the British need a new submachine gun in 1940? Well, you see kids, the Germans was fucking. Now let's think with our history caps on. What else happened in 1940? Well, World War II in Europe was well underway, but the Americans hadn't gotten involved yet. Needless to say, it was not going well. But in 1940 in particular, something kind of major happened, which was the evacuation of Dunkirk. You see, the Germans had beat the Allies all the way back to the coast, and the British needed to get across the channel back to the UK ASAP, which meant leaving a lot of their guns and shit behind. It appears they had been in France too long and were beginning to appropriate their culture by dropping their guns and running away. Anyhow, this left the British military in a very awkward position because they needed more guns and they ended up losing guns. So they needed a very quick, cost-effective, and easy solution to basically getting more guns into more hands fucking ASAP. And that is where the Sten was born. As you can see, there's not a lot to it. We call it a tube because like all the other, you know, open bolt submachine guns and things that we've talked about that were kind of, you know, built like this, this one embodies that better than the rest because this is literally a fucking tube. Speaking of which, some of you guys have been asking for tube t-shirts because we make that joke on the channel all the time. And I'm happy to tell you we finally have them. Because what better gun represents tube than the fucking Sten? So if you want to check these out, they come in a few different colors. If you want to grab one for yourself, the links are down in the description and in the pinned comment. And it definitely helps out the channel because there's no way videos like this stay monetized. It's the simplest operating system you could possibly have. Uh, like there's not, there's not a whole lot to this. It's not rocket science. And that's why they were able to crank these out for like $11 a piece. Of course, $11 back in the day is a lot more than it is today, just because, you know, it was before we got off the gold standard and the Federal Reserve and centralized banking started ruining our fucking lives. But anyhow, that is the origin of why the Sten is born and why it looks the way it does. Very much a case of necessity being the mother of all invention. But still need to know the history behind, you know, different gun designs and why they are the way they are. And if gun design interests you, you might want to check out SDI. If you're looking to get your start in gunsmithing, but you don't know where to begin, SDI is a great resource. If you haven't heard of them, I'd recommend checking them out. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the links down in the description and in the pinned comment. They're a great sponsor of ours, and we appreciate them sponsoring this video. Back to the Sten. ADD break. Now we all know the Sten was designed to, you know, kill Nazis and all, which is convenient for our ADD break uh, white claw penetration test because we have some white claw supremacists right here. I'm not proud of that joke, but it's the best one I got. I don't know. Telling these white claws to the loo in three, two, one. Malfunction. Here we go. Minor complications, but we got there. Kind of like Berlin. Put this on safe real quick. Check out what we got. 
I'd say that was pretty properly dispatched. Got a, at least one good little solid hole there. And yeah, nine mil sub gun versus three white claws. I choose the sub gun. Tune in next week on the next episode of Deadliest Warrior. <laughs> So now the actual operation of the Sten. As I've told you before in the beginning, this is a open bolt direct blowback submachine gun. Uh, that means that it's using the blowback of the round exploding in the chamber to push the bolt back. Because, you know, it's not like a rifle caliber, it's, it's nine millimeter, you can do that. You just need a nice hefty bolt. You're not really at risk of it exploding like you would if it was a much higher pressure round uh, because at the end of the day, this is just all math. Your safety is this right here. So you just, uh, it's kind of like the MP40. Uh, all you have to do is just, there's a little channel track here, where if you pull it a little bit farther back and up, you just let it go and you can't knock it down. So you can't HK slap the Sten. And of course it's, it's open bolt, dropping it forward is how you fire the gun. Trigger is present. As for the magazine release, it is on the top of the magwell here. So the magwell obviously sticks out to the side here. You push this button here down and then the magazine pops right out cool mag by the way this is uh, apparently finnish made uh it's like a lend lease magazine so that's pretty neat onto the sights basically the british engineers uh got their heads together and decided they wanted to make a peephole sight but they wanted one that would obscure as much of the shooter's vision as possible so you got this rather chunky uh rear sight here that with a little peephole there and uh, that goes out to this massive triangle of a front sight post. But I get it, you know, they were in a hurry to make a ton of these, they wanted to keep things super simple. I respect the hell out of that. Now, as for how to properly hold the Sten, I've been trying a couple different things. I've seen so many different photos of people just holding these different ways. Like, obviously one of them, and this is the one I think I prefer, is just the overhand, where you just grab with your hand on top of the, uh, the magazine there, thumb under, and fire it like that or you can go underhand where your palm of your hand is on the bottom of the magwell grip it like that and kind of pull it back toward your body it was like that i've seen people like do this number where they just grab around the barrel or like the shroud and do that it's uh it's kind of like a choose your own adventure there's not really a great way to really get a tactical clamp uh, like you can't cost a clamp the fucking Sten. I think of all of those, I, I kinda, that's not bad. I think I prefer that just cause it feels more natural. But I think a close second's that underhand. This just feels weird. It's your Sten, have it your way. And this is my Sten, so I'm gonna do it my way. Now on to disassembly, uh, there's this little plunger hole in the back, which if you pay attention to Call of Duty Vanguard uh, is where the bolt pops out of the rear while it fires. Uh, I, potentially to no country for old men, the shooter, if they get too depressed. Anyhow, you just push that in and then the stock just kind of wobbles down and that actually captures, it uh, retains itself, which is pretty neat. Stock, there's nothing to this at all. So now we're removing the bolt. So what we gotta do is rotate this end cap a little bit. There we go. And then this assembly comes out. We have our recoil spring but our bolt is captive. There's no track that goes all the way to the rear. So we gotta take this uh, charging handle out. There we go. Pull that out and our bolt drops freely to the rear. And this is our Sten bolt. So you can see here, you have a fixed firing pin. That's again, because this is open bolt, the, the firing pin stays forward at all times because it's essentially just slam firing. But this is your chunky direct blowback bolt. Now another feature of the Sten that I figured I'd show you guys real quick, the way that you would take the barrel off is this thing right here, this tab, you just pull this out and then this can unthread. And this is what captures your barrel. So this is your Sten barrel, just put it back, you just plop that in. Screw that back down into the receiver. And then push that back into place. One other cool feature I wanted to show you though is the storage feature on the Sten. 
in order to store flat for transportation, you can actually pull that pin out. You can rotate the magwell down, which means that the Sten stores like this. You already know where I'm gonna go with this. Why the fuck didn't you just build it like this? I know everybody kind of copied the Germans in the beginning with like the MP18s and stuff like that, but I mean, come on, this is... You know, I actually started filming this video kind of liking Stens. But anyhow, let's break our magwell angle again. Plops in right like that. So we're gonna take our bolt, put that back in the gun like so. Pull our trigger so we can get past that sear. There we go. So now we're gonna bring this to where we can see that charging handle slot again. Put our charging handle back in. Slam that forward. Take our recoil spring, put that on down, and we'll take our cap, put that back into the rear there. There we go. So now it's captured again. Now all we have to do is take our stock, push that down, and there's a little track that this has to ride in. And then, boom, we are locked back together. And that is your breakdown of the Sten submachine gun. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on the Sten. Maybe you learned something, and if you didn't, hopefully at least it was entertaining. Remember, you can buy these slick-ass tube shirts down in the links in the description and in the pinned comment over at my store at Bunker Branding. Of course, I appreciate you guys watching to the end, and as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Cheerio! Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon Like us put his eyes to the top But I can't let you can stop Yes, stop, yes, stop, yes, stop, yes, stop, yes, stop, yes, stop. This is the so this is the fuck. God does not want us to make a Sten video. Going home. <laughs>